hi everyone adesh here from adesh model train so today we will see how we can integrate uh, mqtt ui client with uh, mqtt message broker so that we can trace uh, messages in the ui form so it will be very easy for us because earlier uh, we are using terminal or command prompt to connect to the mqtt and uh, subscribing to the queues for uh, listening the messages which are uh, which are posted from the jmri so today we will see how we can uh, integrate the mqtt ui client so for that first we have to go to mqttx.app site we can download the executable from there for mac i i am using mac so for me there is a different sort of executable and for Windows is there, Ubuntu is there, and Linux is there. I, for Mac, I'm gonna use Universal. So once it, it's downloaded, and I have to just drag and drop into the application folder, and it's done. So here I can see Q. TT app. So it will say this thing in the maps Mac. So we'll go to system preferences. Just keep it aside. We'll go to securities. And here it will say application is blocked. I'll just give it permission by entering my password so now the app is open so this is how the ui gonna look like where we have here we have plus button to create a new connection so first thing what we will do is we will just start the MQTT message broker so if you are following this video series you know how in our earlier uh, tutorial we, I have explained how we can install MQTT and how we can connect it so we have all the setup in my desktop so now MQTT has started so here in the connection I will just give local I'll give local host connection and here in the client name I'll say MQTT UI client and here host we have to change the host to local host port is ok and I'll give the username and password as password and uh, I guess nothing we have to do here rest is okay we'll just click on the connect yeah it's connected here you can see it's showing connected so now to listen to anything what we have to do is we have to just create and uh, click on this new subscription button here we'll say trains and we'll just give it slash QoS 0 it's ok and I'll just confirm it and I'll give new one which will be notes slash EMT notes actually it should be slash EMT slash notes this is for uh, our application what our application is posting spring application so just to test this what we can if we have to post anything uh, we have to publish anything we can give here like sample and we can just say so here we can see here it has been published here we'll just open one more here and uh, or we can just create a new subscription here slash sample slash star 
inform here we can see here in the list if we say anything to the sample data so here you can see the message which I have just now I posted I have published from here sample data and uh, it has been received here so this this is a sim this a simple thing and if have to we have to clear just go to here and just say clear history it will clean up so now we will test from our JMRI we'll open the panel pro so you can see here all things once panel pro connected it will just create everything in the MQTT and we'll go to tool table we'll go to signal hits here and let me reduce the size of this window here so here if I just make it red you can see here data is published if I just go to turn out and if I just throw anything here you can see and if I go to light on off it's working let's go to signal head and then do the flashing so this is a continuous data publishing which we can see here so it's a very e easy for us to you know see the messages which are uh, published on the MQTT so I guess uh, this will helpful for you to you know debugging and you know sorting out when you are when you have any sort of issues and all so that's it for this video till then thank you and stay tuned for the upcoming content and please subscribe to my channel thank you